Good morning. We are on East Vineland, NJ, USA. Today I got the wood production going. And then we're going to go pick up some wood chips from the sawmill. Because this thing produces wood, so I sent it over to the sawmill. And in turn, I get planks on this one. And of course, I'm having issues already. All right, let's get back to the truck. And all you gotta do is, I'm using the uh, the tipper or the uh, the lizard trailer. You go by, you see them little boxes by the shed. They just go right down. All I do is pull up with my auto load and you gather the planks i got it on slow motion so it's only going to produce so much so at a time but we'll see what it does when i go around it's not a bad little gig doesn't take much it takes seeds water manure slurry that's it i had to smooth this thing out a little bit hopefully they don't get stuck again this ground and these fields are not exactly smooth. But you know, if you want your planks and you don't want to do the forestry work, this is the way to do it. I've done this before and uh, it works pretty good. It's not a real big deal, you know, you just put it over there and you set it aside and let it do its thing. You go by once in a while, pick up all your planks. If you're doing the uh, platinum expansion or whatever, you need planks, here you go. And actually, the platinum expansion productions are excellent. I've played with those before, and I could set up, I'm probably going to set up a whole thing on just that. Probably not on this map. This map's uh, East Vineland. It's, uh, it's okay, but uh, it's too much lagging and too much... Uh, stuff going on I'm, I'm afraid it's gonna crash I don't think it it worked real well because I've only got these these are the only productions I have you know pretty much on the on, on the map itself and I don't know it's having a lot of lagging and moving moving around I don't trust it I've played this map before before the last update on it and yeah I had a lot of crashes I just like the map, so I took a chance this time. But I won't be staying here. I, I really did want to do the cornmeal and the cracked corn and all that on here, but I can I can do that on my own. I don't need to just be on this map for that. I can put down productions. It's too bad I liked it, but it's not the exact map I want to be on as far as reliability. Because I've already had two issues with this truck and trailer, which I think, and it's not just truck and trailer, because I brought something else out here to, to check on it, and yeah, it was acting funny then too. Which is, like I said, too bad. I like the map. It's got a lot going on. It's got. I like all the accessibility, the customizing that you can do on this thing. It's just outrageous, and uh, yeah, too bad. Well, let's take these planks over here. I'm going to sell them. You wanted to sell them? There you go. Set up my own distributing spot, field working spot, production spot. This is so if I need anything done, I can come over here and get it and go. It's not what's causing the lag. I, this is my standard stuff. I use this on every map. I have no problems. Oh, well, not bad. 84,000 in planks. Yeah. It's all right. All right, let's switch gears over to the. Let me get it. I like how you up the capacities on everything, made everything, most things, you know, a lot more desirable to drive. The cedars, that's a planter and a cedar, and all that stuff, you know, it's just too bad. I, 
I'll be staying. Now this open the cover. Let's open the cover. Open the cover. <sighs> we can take a drive over to the sawmill. I usually don't do sawmills, BGAs. And I don't really like this trailer already. Yep, it's got that swivel nonsense on there. But I'm gonna try it. It's the new, what is it? The new Branter. Got the truck and the trailer. You can see, I don't know where I need to go. Shop. Where's the sawmill at? Look, if I have to look around for it too much longer, it's not happening. I give up. Supermarket. I know it's back down here. Bakery. All right, well, I'll forget it. I'll just go to the cell point. I'm not, I'm not even going to go to the cell point. I'm not looking for it. It's not worth it. All I was going to do is go up and get wood chips. Wood chips ain't worth it either. Uh, what a bust. That's great. Sawmill. You figure it's always the farthest from where you're at, so... Bio gas. Sawmill. Here we go. Right here in the middle of everywhere. Sawmill. Sawmill. Let's tag it. Wherever I'm at, I'm down here, so what I gotta do, pretty much just go up and across, huh? Huh. We'll see. There we go. See, nice country drive, man. It's just like, you know, it's nice. Or I may stay and wait till it crashes. If it crashes, then you'll know, because I'll be done. Somebody left donuts on the dash. What the heck? That's donut abuse. We don't leave them on the dash. Eat them. Right. I've made donuts for years in a factory with my dad. We own the, about four shops. So I've kind of donated out, but once in a while, you know, you get a craving. What stop sign? There was a stop sign? Oh, poo. Oh, 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 oh. This where I need to be? All right, let's drive around here and see. Ooh, see this ain't the wood chips, but I'm gonna drive by it. Wood chip, wood chip, wood chips. There they are. Let's see if this thing loads. Uh-oh, I think it is. All right, it works. There's more wood chips in this truck of hold, I believe, but uh, is it produced pretty quick on that wood production? This thing already had a hundred and something thousand liters. I mean, you know, it, it was rolling. It was kicking them out. It was kicking the wood. The wood from there it was coming over here, making the wood chips. So it was kicking pretty good. I think you can pick up wood chips over there too, but I didn't have it set for that. I had it set it for planks. Yeah, this is filling up the truck pretty good. That's the way it should.
I wonder what this was, a 25,000 liter? Yeah, 25,000, it should stop. 25,550, what's this little trailer holding? I don't know. Let's see what nonsense goes into here. So it's gonna continue on. I think another 25. So we should have about 50,000 liters of wood chips to go somewhere. We'll check and see where we can take it. See, I'm not much on the forestry part. I'm farmer, farming simulator. I'm not on a forestry simulator, so I don't really care about the forestry part of it. I'll cheat that thing everywhere I can. I do fill types of wood, wood products all the time. I don't, I don't do too much of the production part, but I like that wood production app. They're a mod they just came out with. That works good. I like that. And I'll take a saw and go out there with a mobile wood trailer and gather it and send it. Okay, 51,000. Let's check and see where we can take wood chips. Scroll down. It should say somewhere on here wood, wood chips. There we go. Oh, look at this nonsense. Uh, supermarket's the best one. Wood chips is supermarket. All right. Why not? Let's go to the supermarket. I don't know where it's at. It should blink up on the map here pretty soon. We'll go this way. As long as it's not the opposite way of where it's at, we're good. God, blessed trees, man. What? Alright, here we go. Get back in here. Safer. I feel safer back inside. That's crazy. Okay, I'm starting to see a blink on the map. We'll take a little scenic drive. Looks like weeds. Weeds and garbage. Not real colorful. Pretty plain and green. It's pretty normal, I reckon. Yes, green's good. Oh, what is that? Ah! Alright. Anyway, no cop, no stop. Ah! Well, it's pretty plain. I've never seen a supermarket out in the middle of nowhere just plain like this, but I guess so. I lived out in the country for a while. See what it look like, but maybe it looks like that here. Oh well, it is what it is. All right, well, per usual, no icons coming up. Am I in the right spot? Oh, I can't back this thing up right. Check. So I will scoot it through. And you know, of course, you got a dead burn tree right there. All right, now we're going through. Let's do this now. Do a little bit of... I don't know. Didn't say I can unload it here. So do I? Sure. I'll push the buttons. No, nothing happening. No, nothing happening there. That's, there we go. Man. What to go through? Alright, the first trailer, let's find out what we got. Ten thousand dollars? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I did say this ain't the most profitable one. Let's unload the back one. I had to push the right trigger up front plus the triangle and it gives you get the switch. You gotta remember to switch the trailers. Push the triangle until the icon comes up. If it does. Not all these tr uh, icons and trigger points, fill points, everything will come up on this map either. And 10,000. And I don't think this one does 
a sale point for chocolate, but yet the dairy makes chocolate, which I didn't count a point against that. I figured the dairy wasn't a chocolate production per se. Um, that wasn't the only production in there. So it not being able to sell chocolate, even though you could produce it, I didn't take nothing away from that. I don't count that against it. I do, however, count against trigger uh, interactive with the player. If you don't have trigger points up that are clearly pointing what it is, yeah. I agree with that. I agree you take points off of that kind of stuff because you can get time to figure it out. Like this, I ain't driving all the way across the map to figure out if I can drop it there. Or is that just a sell point? Or can I actually store it there, make something there? You know, it, it should be pretty easy to do. You shouldn't have to figure out too much. And this map is not complex. It's not a complex map. It's the same as all of them. It's just spread out. I like it that it's got all these houses. Like if I want this house and this farm, cool. I just put one of them uh, sleep triggers on here. Deco it out. Go over here. As long as you buy the land, you know, you buy everything, which I did. I bought everything. But you just put your sleep trigger down and then you're good to go. Now, I don't know if you can use that garage. It's like, okay, you got this thing. And you buy it. I haven't bought it. Can you use the garage? Is it functional? See, it doesn't look like it would be. It just looks like a fake deco. But you can use it there, or you can... The nice thing about this, you can customize it. Take it out. Get rid of it. Put your own down. Same thing with the house. You don't even have to have that house. But you might want this field, you know? It's already got what you want in this field. So you take over this house, work here for a while, and then when you're done, move. You know, go away. Go somewhere else. That's what I do. You want to be at this field, you got a production unit you want, or you want this field with its uh, products. Oh, look, this one here worked out, or the right size you want. Take it over. Put your uh, trigger there, or the new house, garage, your workshops. And then when you're done, destroy it all, demolish it all. You know, get your slot count back down, your money, sell everything, and then move to the next one. If I was more secure about this map, I would do that heartbeat. But it's so rolly and everything. I do a lot of productions. I don't do a lot of... too much. I do the farming to get the productions to run, is what I'm trying to say. So these fields, they're rolling, are fine for field work. But they're not if you want to put something over here. I'm not sure what that is. It's pigsty or something but I mean you know let's find out let's see jump down I see the animal dialogue hit the box yeah big farm cool oh it holds 350 which was nice he upped all the I believe he upgraded the uh, feedlot and everything else so and they take more the pigs don't but I mean the chickens Sheep and cow, I believe they all can take alfalfa and clover, I think it's on here, I'm not sure. Crack corn, but crack, well, I'm on, maybe in a whole, my mind's in a whole weird way. The corn, crack corn, I think chickens can take sunflowers and sorghum and all that stuff. And the scratch corn, I believe you can do the scratch corn. I think there's a mod on here for the scratch corn. If there's not, you can get one, but I believe there is one, um, which is cool. Gives you a little different. That's why I may stay because it, see, it has so much you can just piddle with. I can just do one just on scratch corn. Let's feed chicken scratch corn. All right. Somebody may not even know what scratch corn is. See, this is actually a nice little area right here. You take over the whole thing. Take it over. Is this is this ours? Is this the starting? This may be the starting farm. Oh, that's why it made it look cool. It's got everything here. I think that's our starting farm. You can tell I haven't been there. I don't know if it is or not. Oh, yeah, it is, because you can't sell... I, I don't think you can sell that, the fuel pump, or that silo. I think it's got lime fertilizer. I don't know what's in there. Yeah, I don't think you can sell this. 
and this. Everything else, I believe you can. <laughs> Didn't even know where I was. I thought it looked kind of familiar. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna park this truck over here. I may I may stay, and if I do, at least I got the truck over here. Because I may uh, harvest these fields down. I think he gave us a harvester somewhere, didn't he? Let me see this little thing here and drive it around. I thought he gave us more horsepower or something on a couple of them. I don't know. I don't know if this is it. This is a linky. This is a little one. Let's see this there. A couple of tractors over here. I don't see a harvester. He's probably got it out in the field or hidden out somewhere. And I believe that planter is modded. It does both seeding and planting. Oh, here we go. I'm not sure if he uh, did our uh, harvester or not. I guess it'd be easy to check. You just go in and see what you own. And like this, this is the one I use. I think this is that Lemkin. I use Lemkin all the time. So if he put, let's see, wheat, barley, oats, standard grass, clover, alfalfa, corn, sunflowers. Oh yeah, he updated this one. I wish this one would go across the board where we could get this on the mod hub that it does everything. That'd be nice. Now, I don't think it does. Oh, it does cotton too. Popular wheat. This thing does everything. Fantastic. But you got, I guess you got to be on this map to do it. That's too bad. I, would, I love Lemkin. And if that was the regular mod where I could do everything with this machine, I'd use it all the time. Yeah. It's a good seeder. It's only like 12 meters. 12 meters wide, but see, this is the case. This should be a nice one. It should be done. And I believe that mess. No, not that one. Not that. Not that. Not that. Not that. Case. This one is the other one. That's my go to tractor right there. I use this all the time. I'm sure you have the. I'm, I'm sure you up this one to the. 880 or whatever it is horsepower that's the only way to drive this one this is a nice you can pull anything you want i pulled anything i want to with this thing as far as horsepower getting up hills plowing seeding hauling around trailers this is my go-to tractor right here it's nice i usually have it in black Yeah. Well, anyway, we have right, we've got what we've done. We've done the wood production. We have done the wood production part of the deal. And there it is. Easy to place, easy to fill, easy to run. Put on distributing, storing, whatever you want to do. But it works good. And I hope you enjoyed the view. Like, share, subscribe if you can. And as always, have a good day. Bye.